Hello, 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 and welcome to today's episode of Her Aversion. This podcast is dedicated to sharing stories of Chocolate Triumph, a platform that allows individuals to tell their truth in order to inspire and uplift others. For those of you that are new to this podcast and like content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button, follow, like, and share. I am your host, Sabrina Victoria. Let's jump right in. Hello, and thank you for joining us for this episode of Her Version. The Her Version platform is built on storytelling and the understanding that many times our greatest learning experiences come from listening to other people's stories. Today, I'm speaking with two amazing women named Dr. Elizabeth Rainwater and Dr. Latoya Rainwater. They are the creators of, is it Elder Shop or ELR Shop? ELR shop. ELR shop. They spent years mentoring and counseling students to work hard to accomplish their educational goals and encouraging them to go beyond the textbooks. In becoming teachers, they saw a special need to create and provide educational products for kids and inspirational products for all ages to inspire and uplift people around the world. Today, through ministry and mission work, they are making a difference. Welcome, Elizabeth and Latanya. How are you? What was the drive towards education? I mean, it would have been so easy for you just to put a halt on that and say, let's just like figure everything out first and go back to education. I feel like most individuals would have just kind of, I mean, people quit for even sillier reasons than what you guys went through. Why were you so determined to get your education? Where does that come from? Well, for, for, for me personally, I looked at the fact that whenever I start something, I don't never want to stop. And so if I have a goal set or I'm working towards something, you know, God always taught me to finish what you start. Mm-hmm. And I was always one of those people that's like, wait a minute. Um, I know that this is going on, but I really want to finish what God blessed me to go into. Because whenever, whenever we were going to school for um, our undergraduate degree, God had let me know that you're going to go even further. You're going to go for your master's degree. And I knew that if he was going to bless us to go for our master's degree, that he was going to get us through that. And so I just looked at it like I can't never give up. I have to keep on being focused because people were also coming to us, even though we were sick and stuff. And they were saying that, well, I don't know how you could come in here and you're sick and and I don't understand. how are you going to make it through? And sometimes we even got negative um, comments and stuff towards us. You know, um, somebody had told me that, well, you you got sick because you're doing too much and, and you 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 uh, you're you're accomplishing too much. And I found that I was I found that to be, you know, uh, weird. I'm like, wait a minute, you're going to school, too. You're working towards a goal as well. What does it look like for me to quit? and not accomplish what God has for me. You you know, I, I just, yeah, there was a lot of different reasons of uh, why why she or me would have quit. Mm-hmm. And, and you, you know, losing your sight, you, you know, your ability to function, both mm-hmm. of us, and, and your your mind doesn't function the way it is. I had to deal with that. You, you know, during that time, my mind wasn't all that medication. My mind wasn't functioning properly. And um, I would be a little bit for, forgetful. But uh, at the same time, I, I had to deal with that. That was a little bit of uh, depression in, in some sort because you like my mind. Oh, my God. I It doesn't function the way it needs to function like it used to function. I don't feel the way I used to feel. And, and you you know what? I, I had to look at that and push through that because that that is truly was a, a very difficult time. And yes, there were so many reasons of, of why we could have quit, but there were so many reasons of why we shouldn't quit. And you you know, as we tell this this uh, our life story, 
of many, many, <laughs> Lord knows we endured a lot, but um, as we tell this particular story and it relates to school, it, it relates to a lot of people that's going to school that mm -hmm. want to quit. And there's so many bad things that had happened to us during this process when it came to school, especially with the school system itself. And um, we tell people, don't quit, no matter what. Okay, we were sick, but you're not sick, but don't quit. Yeah. We measured people. We kept people in their programs for do to be doctors mm -hmm. and, and, and master's programs. We kept them in school. We taught kids in China from ages four and up, don't quit. Yes. Just and, because you have mm -hmm. challenges, overcome it. Don't quit. Yes. And, you know, and 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 talk, speaking on education, you know, me and my sister, we were actually cheated out of our first doctorate degree. We were only trying to get one doctorate degree and the, the school, they basically stole it from us. And we had, had completed all our courses, got to the dissertation phase, and they just would not um, they were cheating people out of going forward to complete their dissertation. So a lot of people basically did not move forward and were getting cheated in the school system. And so we were like, okay, I'm, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. This is what God has for me, but I, I, um, I don't know if I'm be able to do this over here. And the school system, the people there, they said actually to me on the telephone that, oh, well, we know that this is going on and that people are getting cheated and stuff. Well, you're not the only ones. But I can't do anything about it. And so we actually lost the first doctorate degree that we went for. And they were trying to offer us a master's degree in place of that. But we said, we're not going to accept a master's because we earned a doctorate. And so what we did is that it took us a little bit because we had to step back. That was a challenge for us. We looked at it and we said that this is not fair. <laughs> so we were like, God, I don't know if I want to pursue this anymore. But we were driving down the road. And God said, I want you to finish what you started. And so we went back and we ended up going to um, another doctorate program. And that's the one that we completed in 2019 after having other challenges. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Such an inspiring story.